Hello, welcome back to Near Automata. So I just figured that I would go stop Emil because we haven't done that yet. No, oh, he stopped me before I could do my big attack. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, let's go get introduced to Emil again. Can I talk to him? There we go. No? Yeah? No? no? There we go. Well, we're not really looking to buy anything for right now. Right, and he always said that he lived deep underground. I never actually visited him. But now that I've spoken to him, does anything else appear on my mini-map? Like, there's a couple... Well, that's Speed Star. There's also Machine Examination 2, which I thought we finished, but... Let's see, there's a couple... Up right there. I don't think that's new, so maybe when we eventually leave, um, maybe something else will eventually happen with a meal. Because what I want to do is I want to go to the mall and start his flower thing. See if we can finish it this time. And also on Route A, we never actually visited, visited him to see where he lives. So that is certainly something that we should try to do at some point. Because eventually a red dot will appear, and it looks like it is very deep underground. I never actually went there, so I probably should. Right now, let's go to a Machine Examination 2 and see if there's anything there that we still need to do. Yep, I can tell. He seems like he's doing okay. Well, I don't know what not okay would look like for him. Kind Probably would look pretty similar to okay. What's the question? You know, I don't remember seeing Nightfall in this game. Ah, okay, so... Did, I, I forget if that was addressed before. If it was mentioned as to why the sun never goes down. Stars are pretty neat. All right, Engels. Yeah, that icon's gone now. So I guess we've spoken to... I just we've done what we need to do with him for right now. Uh, let's see. What we probably should do. Yeah, there's the mall. Okay. Let's head over to the mall so we can get that started. Then we can go to Animal Loving Machine, who seems to have something else for us. If I'm seeing that correctly. Let's see. I wanted to go to uh, City Ruins near the tower is fine. Of course, the next story point that we need to do is we need to talk to Pascal so we can ask about A2. Then I think after that we go talk to an enemy is, I believe, what happens. And I think that we're... After that is going to be the missile, the missile escort quest. With that giant robot, giant machine that we fight. 
is how I think that's gonna go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Hello. I guess we don't really need to fight them, do we? I guess they're coming in. Leave the size of the commercial facility. The people of the old world must have led pretty good lives. I bet it was fun to shop back when you had so many choices. We don't need such things. Don't be so sure about that. Once we eradicate the machine life forms, us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we should go shopping together. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? Something that looks good on you. A t-shirt? What, not interested? Hmm, when that day comes, I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. Having this little lazy conversation while we're in this fight. All right, here's the flower. Hmm, that's a strange flower. Analysis. It is a plant known as a lunar tear. A lunar tear. Huh? When did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again. Or another where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. It's like something's pushing down on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find lunar tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? Sure. Aw, thanks. If you find another lunar tear, just let me know on this frequency, all right? I'm counting on you. So, is the only, like, real part of his body his head? And, like, the rest of it's just all replaceable? Not really positive on... on Emil's biology, how exactly that all works. Like, we've seen his head, but the rest of it just seems to be old metal... Not necessarily a body, like, he, you know, we just saw him a as a car. Anyway, here's something here. Someone's got a quest. You've got a quest. Well, more importantly than that, you've got a quest. I look like someone who cares a whole lot about side quests is what I look like. Yeah, any day now. All kinds of things, but yeah, eating was a big part. Sure, what kind of ingredients? Okay. I wonder how much of this I have. That's not what I'm here for. Okay, it looks like I do not have what he wants. I'm gonna take a look at this quest. Oh, right, there was that. I guess I should check in with him. I don't know exactly what he wants. Okay, oh, I do have the boar meat. I do not have the moose meat. All right, well... I mean, I'm sure that we can find that around here. Animals are not too hard to find, such as moose. Since androids generate energy from water, what purpose does the resistance have with animal protein? Maybe it's more of a feeling thing. Like, some people just want to eat it every now and then? It appears illogical. Hey, you got me. Don't let up. The intruders detecting loyal minds. Give your lives for the king of the forest. They gotta get tired of giving their lives at some point, I would think. Just over and over and over again.
Oh, he's still up. Well, Tubi can take care of him. I got some hunting to do. Yep, see? Tubi took care of it. Alright, got some moose that meat. Should do it for the deer and boar meat. Guess we should report back to the trader. So, we can do that. However, one of Emil's flowers is here, and it's got to be on top of that, right? Because I, I remember that I was looking around here before for the flower in Route A, and I wasn't able to find it, and I wasn't able to get on this thing, so I was figuring, well, it has to be up there, right? Because I don't see it anywhere else. So it's got to be on the top of this. But is there any way to actually climb that? It's like a branch sticking out there. If there was an enemy up there, I would be able to use this. I would be able to use my wire. But the wire can't... I don't think it can be used if there's no enemy. Can it? Like, I can't just shoot it at anything. Unfortunately. It doesn't seem like there's any points there to climb, either. And I'm pretty sure it's not at the bottom of this. Hmm? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess you guys do keep coming back. Pity I can't throw an enemy on top of that plateau and then use the wire to get up to it. Some people did say that if you jump, it's possible to get sort of a dashing move with the pod with the pod. Something like jump and R1. Well no, that's that's clearly not it. And that if you did a double jump and ha and hang on and hung on and you did the usual sort of gentle dive you couldn't actually do the dash hmm but that's not it it's a move that I haven't done so I'm not positive on how you do it so what would it be like dash and R1 something like that that might be what they're talking about. But that's not nearly... That's not nearly going to be far enough to make it to the top of that thing. So I can jump off of that, but it's not... I'm not going to make that. So what else could I try? There's this up here. But I don't know if there's a way I can get on top of that. I could look around. See if there's anything I could do to... Oh, wait. No. It wasn't on top of that. It was just right over here. This is a lunar tier. It was, like, inside. We'd better let Emil know. Hey there, guys. What's up? We found a lunar tier. It's located at... Stay right there! I'm coming! Uh, okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all day. Sorry to keep you! Yeah. Oh, hey... Now that I think about it, this whole area was once... Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? Thanks a bunch for finding this. Really. Oh. And let me know if you find any more, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Well, I do know where there are a couple more than we can find. All right, so that was... There's like a little cave here inside the plateau, so we don't actually go on top of it. So I was, I was looking at things the wrong way the whole time. 
It's actually not a cave in this plateau, but one behind it. But that's fine. Alright, so there are a couple more that I know the locations of, but first let's go to, let's go give that man his meat. There's a man who wants some animal meat. He desires it. He wants to make food out of it. He wants to prepare it as humans used to do. So we need to make his food dreams come true. His meat mares. That's every meat! Both kinds! I mean, yeah, we assume so. Okay, so they, they do eat it in the resistance. Yeah, let's let's not think about what happens when our life's work is over. Only good things could happen. All right, got some stuff. All right, I guess that's the entire quest. He learned that meat is delicious when roasted over a charcoal, fi charcoal fire, fire after applying salt. He's going to continue his research for the humans. All right, so we've done that. What do we want to do now? So let's see. Okay. Thinking about this flower. There's a flower in the flooded city. There's a flower in the amusement park, so I remember those two. So why don't we find a transporter and head over to those places and see what Emil thinks of that. I'm not sure if there are any others besides those, but those are the ones that I'm thinking about. And just make sure. Oh, which one's that? That's Desert Camp. There's one over there as well. That's Amusement Park. Right, and that's where we are. Alright, so one in the desert that I didn't think about. Where was it? It was somewhere like on the edge here, I think. Yeah, there. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Oh, did I fall into like, did I fall into water or something that counted as a death? I guess that's what happened there. I wasn't really positive what was going on. I'd better tell Emil. What's going on? 
I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at... Don't move an inch! I'm coming! Don't move? I'm actually kind of busy... Sorry to keep you! Damn, you're fast! Uh, that's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded, I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. You did? I think... I had something I wanted to protect. Something really precious to me. But I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Alright, you stay here while we go back and head to try to find what look like the remaining two. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see, which one do we want to go for? Let's see, there's amusement park. There's, let's see, Emil's memories. We could get there by going to Desert Supply Trader. Hmm. Okay, Desert Camp listed here. Just to make sure. Right, it said go out this way. Thing here, but it's supposed to be here, I guess. I'm not seeing a, a shiny flower around, though. No, oh, I can't jump on that. That looks like something I can jump on. Apparently, I cannot jump on it. Alright, so... Is it up there? Yeah, it just automatically just slides me down if I try to jump on this wall. The invisible wall is strong with this wall. Do I see a flower anywhere? Anywhere in this circle. Well, this is not a flower right here. Is there any place I can jump on to get a better...
Doesn't really look like it. So if I wanted to get on that, and I'm looking at like this right here, how would one get there, do you think? Can you approach it from the top? Because it doesn't seem like trying to approach it from below is going to work. At least I assume it's up there. I'm trying to get further away so I can see. There's a flat surface up there. It looks like something you should be able to get on. Just not letting me jump on that. Okay, can jump on this. Can I get anywhere from here? Not on that wall, anyway. Now I'm basically just going out into a different area, so... And I just, I just slide off of that. Oh yeah, that's right, there's like a little machine in there. You can just walk by him most of the time. And if I just keep going this way, I end up back out here. And still not gonna, still not gonna let me climb that. It's not gonna let me do it. So let's see, is there some other way I can get up on that? It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do it from out here though, does it? But is there a cave or something that I could take to get up on that? It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to just jump up on top of it. Again, if there was an enemy up there, you know, maybe I could use my wire and make that happen. But, uh, no one up there. No enemies. Of course, we do have buildings here. Would any of these buildings let me get up onto a plateau? Yeah, see, that just caught. It does not let me walk on that. It just causes me to slide right off. It does not seem like it. It really seems like it doesn't want me to actually walk on any of that. On any of these rock formations. It would be good if I could, but. It seems like it's really against the idea of me doing that. Oh yeah, that guy. So is there anything I can walk on from here? Again, really doesn't seem like it. And once again, I'm standing at the foot of this, and I'm not seeing any flowers around. If, if there was a flower around, I'm sure it would be very obvious. They're, they're shiny, they stand out, but I'm not seeing one at the foot of this.
Yeah. It's just not, just doesn't want me to do it. And again, if I did want to use my, my wire. Yeah, just not, that's just not going to work. There's nothing to attach it to. And even if I get far away, I can't actually see anything up there. Hmm. I don't know. It says one of the memories is up there, but if I'm not able to get up there, then what do I do about that? So, I mean, there was the case with that plateau that I w didn't know what to do there, but I did find uh, that there was a cave under it. And in that cave, I was able to find the flower there, so it wasn't the case that I actually had to get on top of it. I had to go below it. In this case, however, we got to the red spot. Just doesn't seem like there's... Oh, actually, I guess there's one thing I should try. Considering we're in the desert. And we have done a particular thing before. And we're... What, no, not that. We use the scanner... Could possibly could it possibly be underground? Considering the game seems to really not want me to jump up there, maybe that's what it actually is. No, I'm not getting any sped up readings or anything. does not seem like there's anything here for us. Well, it was worth a try. I think that maybe there was something like buried under here that we could get with the scanner. I'm just staring at the ground right now, just making sure there's nothing here, right? Just m checking to make sure that there's nothing here. Alright, it really seems like it has to be on top of that, but I don't know how we would get on top of that. Well, here's a bit where they let me jump on rocks. It's not going to let me jump on the wall, though. You can't jump on the wall. It's f it's forbidden for your hot androids to show emotions and also jump on the wall. Your hot androids cannot do either of these things. By order of command? does not matter that you're trying to help someone regain their lost memories with flowers. You are forbidden from jumping on the rock walls. Yeah, only thing out here seems to be the Trial of Sand. And we'll go back to the Trial of Sand at some point, just not right now, maybe. Probably when we're at a higher level in the future.
But even, even if we're not able to get to that one, we do know of one that we can get to. There we go. It's a lunar tear. I'd better tell Emil. Hey there, what's up? I found a lunar. I'm on my way. Sorry to keep you. As speedy as always, I see. Oh, oh, that's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well. So I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Well, we found three out of the four, but Emil still has one memory that we are not able to get to. We know where it is, because the map tells us where it is, but we can't seem to actually reach it. And there's also that dot over there. What is that? I suppose we could leave the amusement park and see if we can locate whatever that is. If that is something that is accessible to us. Uh, actually, which direction is that? Oh, they're not. Eh. All right, so it appears to be in the stage area. Or is it in the stage area, or is it below the stage area? Now, there's something here. It's not that. Looks like we're standing right where it is, but... Oh no, it is below us. So last time we went down here, there was a big fight that happened in the basement here. It's when we were getting all the stamps. Well, we got all the stamps, but it appears that there is something else here. Game Creator Machine. We have not spoken to the Game Creator before. Yeah, we're doing okay. <laughs> That's very funny. What materials do you need? 
Well, I mean, you're wrong about that because of course we're going to help you out with that. Hmm. Have we found that? Yes, the creative urges must be satisfied even at the expense of the lives of your fellows. I don't suppose I already have that. And this is just level one? No, apparently I don't. Oh, but there is this. Demon's Cry. Well, that sounds intense. Weapons shaped after a demon's profane fangs. It looks like it's a fist weapon. The story says that once there was a gentle angel who came to Earth to provide salvation for those in need. Whether it was curing illnesses, offering blessings, or cheering the sad... He was always there when needed. I assume things go very well for this angel. Alright, let's see if we can see this. Alright, seems alright. So this one that we just got. Guess I went by it. Uh, let's see. I should go to active quests. Let's see. Just uh, one machine in the park, and that's it, huh? And heritage of the past. Yeah, there's some guy in the desert. He still wants more of that stuff. He doesn't have a, a, a dot on the map anymore, though, which seems kind of odd. But I guess he still wants me to keep uh, using the scanner to find more old items. But I'm not, even, I'm not even really sure where that guy is anymore. I just remember he was out somewhere in the desert. I, I got him one item, and I guess he still wants more. Well, I guess that is one other thing that we'll need to check in on at some point. So is it just killing any of them? Is there a specific kind? I mean, we could always check the map. Yeah, yeah, there is a there is a point where we can go to apparently where we can fight such a machine. Well, we're in the point right here. Is it just any of these guys? All right. Did we get it? No? Alright, does everyone have to die? I guess everyone has to die. Look, I know it's sad, but video game making is a serious business, and there's nothing happy about it.
Okay, I found it. Requested material obtained. And all I had to do was kill every machine in the square. wonder what kind of game he's going to make. What genre is he thinking about? Hope he's not thinking about putting loot boxes in. Everyone hates those. Alright, we killed a whole bunch of peaceful machines just for you. Great, what is the game? Sure. Let's check it out. Ah, so, okay. Yeah, I guess that's what we should have expected. I mean, we don't need to actually kill any machines for this game. We play this game all the time. And killing and, and playing this game does result in, in killing machines, yes, but we don't need to kill any machines in order to play the game, just as the result of playing the game. Nah. He still has a red point over him. Let's take, take a look at this. Offer a prize if you find the bugs hidden in his game. Well, you know, I guess that's something we're going to be doing, but maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Maybe we have done enough for game designer machine at this point. Uh, so what we've done is we helped out those uh, two androids, that one android, I guess, with their ingredients for food. We found three of... Emile's four flowers, but I can't quite figure out how to get to that fourth one in the desert. And we've helped out game developer machine for some reason. I'm not sure why we're helping him. I'm not sure. It's just, he had a side quest, so he did it. And that's kind of the way things work, you know? There's a side quest, so of course we're going to do it. Oh, there's one of these things in here. I should get it. Ten thousand G? Won't say no to that. Hmm. So I'm just not sure how to get that fourth Emil flower. I thought I was going to be able to do that side quest today, but it didn't quite work out that way. Let me check the map for a sec. I was looking to see if that underground one has appeared. I don't see a red dot appearing beneath the surface, though, so I don't think it has. I don't think it has. All right, so we've got Emile's Memories, which I don't know how to do. We've got... Oh, that's... Yeah, Speed Star, of course. Something at Pascal's Village. The Wandering Couple is complete. Stop saying it's not question marks at the entrance to the forest kingdom we have the coliseums so not all that many uh open side quests at this point in time but of course we will keep doing them as we continue on really as far as story stuff goes there's not that much left in rude b like i think we have the big um the big ocean fight against like the big machine then after that, 9S gets separated from 2B. 2B fights Adam. I don't know how that's going to be different in this route, though. 
after that, 2B and Pascal go to the abandoned factory to fight their way through the Religious Machine Society, I think that went. Again, don't know how that's going to be different in Route B. I guess it would have to be different, though. Then once that's done, I think Eve launches his attack, and then basically the endgame starts. So as far as story stuff goes, I don't think we have that much more on Route B. But we, of course, we do have our all-important side quests, and we still will continue with those next time on Nier. Nier. 